Here's a brief introduction and demonstration to HP Data Protector Reporter. So what are the value propositions? How do you eliminate time and effort required to manually scan nightly backup logs and error messages? How do you get an enterprise view of your backup cell managers? How would you get a consistent view of your backup service level agreement performance? For example, successful, partial, failed backup jobs. Now using HP Data Protector Reporter, you can achieve a rolled up view of the backup landscape via this intuitive, customizable dashboard. At this point, you can simply customize the dashboard view as required by using a few clicks. So here we have the backup application, backup volume. You can change this easily to most unsuccessful backup managers. Not only will you know where and when your backups have failed, but you will be in a better equipped position to proactively address backup capacity needs. Moving away from this summary to the reports themselves. And here we have a documents list. And as we scroll down, we can see the specific data protector reports. Currently, there are 35 out of the box reports available for customers to choose from. These will address most backup reporting needs. You can see here as an example, we have backup client reports, capacity planning, hyperlink, performance, product, SLA, and forecast. So let's look at an example here. The backup volume growth forecast. The report displays backup growth forecast for the next 15 days on each client. At this stage, the reporting engine is pulling the database and will then create a materialized view of the forecasted trend data. Run the query et voila, a graphical view. Backup volume growth forecast, cell manager, prediction and down below here we have a table with the collection date and forecasted backup size in gigabyte. So once this report has been produced we go back to the documents list. Here we can easily set up a schedule so we are effectively moving away from manual tasks for sending reports to automated. So we'll look at the format, the output format and the destinations available. Thanks for listening. I hope you found it interesting.